Hey, how are you guys doing? I haven't seen you in like a month. I bet you've been destroying the English language. <laughs> We're back again with terms or things you say wrong. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna be discussing today is bring versus take. Let's talk about it. Now I know what you're thinking and because I know what you're thinking, that means you're not thinking much. <laughs> bring and take means to move two objects, but you want things brought to you and you want to take things to an area. For example, my mother asked me to bring food to her house, but I didn't want to take anything over there because every time I take something to my mama's house, every time I take forks and knives and plates, I never get them brought back to my house. She need to get a job and give me my stuff better. I understand she pushed me out and I ain't trying to fight my mama, but she need to understand if I bring it, that don't mean you can take it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, mom. Next term. Next term. Compliment versus compliment. Let's talk about it. <laughs> now, although these are said exactly the same, compliment and compliment, they're spelled completely different, which means they mean completely different things. For example, you compliment a person. I want to compliment you on a great job that you did. But if you don't have a full complement of staff members, I can't compliment you. So meaning, when I got dressed and I told my chick, do I look good? And she didn't give me a compliment, but she complimented my efforts for trying to look good and hurt my feelings. And now I'm going to compliment every single chick I see on Instagram. I'm going to like pictures and I hope she get a full compliment of my likes and get in my inbox because I'm unhappy. And somebody going to tell me I'm cute. Okay, um, <laughs> compliment versus compliment. Know the difference and save your relationship. Now, this next term is something you don't see every day. <laughs> every day versus every day. Let's talk about it. You look at these two words, you're like, Josh, you should write both together. They don't make sense. They're the exact same words. And I bet you thought Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger were twins in real life, did it? Yeah. <laughs> now, when you talk about every separate day, you're talking about something that happens every single day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. She doesn't answer her phone on Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday. Now, when you're talking about every day pushed together as one word, you're replacing the word common for every day, meaning you have everyday clothes. You have an everyday car, you have everyday attire, you have everyday toothbrush, but your everyday toothbrush ain't used every single day. You use your everyday toothbrush probably two days a week. That's why your mouth smells like mothballs in the back of Walmart paintings. <sighs> My doctor said gingivitis is normal. Let's talk about southern term of the day. Let's do it. And now the southern term of the day. I don't know who you talking now, if you ever find yourself in an urban community in the South and they respond to you, I don't know who you talking to. They are talking directly to you and they are reminding you and giving you an opportunity to apologize for the things you said. So if you tell somebody you ugly, man, I don't know who you talking to, but you can't be talking to me. We know you talking to me. We know you are directly speaking to us. We know your beef is with us, but we are advising you. We are assuring you that you don't want to be talking to me. So if I ask you, tell you, I don't know who you talking to, you better say, you know, I ain't talking to you, bro, because you don't know what I got under this belt. I got a whole graveyard under this belt. I got a whole October 31st under this belt. I will punish you on a level you can't believe. <laughs> Join me next week on episode 10 when we talk about where your socks go in the washing machine. Bye-bye.